Hi, everybody. I was toying with the idea of maybe remodeling this little room. I don't really need it anymore. As a matter of fact, this room is the original, shall I say, hidey hole at this location. It's the original outpost. This staircase used to be in the middle of a, a jungle. And this used to be a very hostile environment. But I tamed it. And I made it my own. So maybe I'll keep it around. It's kind of a serves as a pretty good reminder of where I've been. And I've been many places in this world. I started playing it in 2017. And uh, it corrupted on me a few times. The second time I thought I'd lost it forever. But with the help of some talented Minecrafters, I managed to get it back. Which is a pretty good thing because I tried to start other survival worlds since then. But it just, it just wasn't the same. I need to put this stuff away. Now, this isn't my compound. This is an outpost. And I've been here for a couple months. And I'm not leaving anytime soon. Because, well, I'll show you. You can see my, my trader llamas. I don't know if you'll be able to see it from out here in the yard or not. I need to make sure that I'm not gonna get ambushed. I guess not, maybe we'll take a swim over to this uh, sandbar. Well, I guess it's still too far away, but directly across the ocean, right about there, is as far as I got. I was circumnavigating back to my polar ravine from my big house in the sky, but I took the boat a different direction. I got to kind of a, uh, a crossroads, if you will, where I could have kept following my torches, but instead I chose to, uh, to kind of go in a bit of a different direction. I figured I could circumnavigate this ocean this way and eventually wind up in the same spot but it's, it, it brought me here, and the reason I've been here for so long is there's a jungle temple right over there. And I've been working, trying to work up the, uh, the courage to go and explore that. So in the meantime, I kind of built this compound on this island. It took a bit of work to level this island. to get some ink from these guys. Here's another one. Maybe I'll get this guy too. If 
he sticks around. Did I get the sack? I must have. But uh, my compound is quite a bit larger than this. And uh, I'll, I'll put a link in the top corner of the screen if you haven't seen any of my other Minecraft videos showcasing my compound. Feel free to check that one out. That's like my, uh, my home base. And it's been, uh, I haven't been back there since the last time my world corrupted, which was like well over a year ago. So I'm itching to get back there. But I'm determined not to leave here until a few things are accomplished. You can see my sign with my name and the jungle temple outpost written on it. But I don't want to leave here until I, dis I uh, journey into that jungle temple, see what, see what it's all about. But I've also got a mine on this island. And I don't want to leave here until I get that mine all mined out. Oh, I do have some obsidian here. Interesting. Uh, what, what was I looking for? I want to build an enchanting table, but for that, I need diamonds, and this is my diamond chest, and it's empty. So in this video, I'm hoping to find more diamonds. I haven't really had a lot of luck here. It's been kind of embarrassing, <laughs> to say the least. I'm down to my last two pickaxes. I, I need some diamonds to fix this one. So let's head down into the mine and hopefully I have enough pick to, uh, to get to a spot where I can find some diamonds. Now in this room here are my chickens. I had to move them underground. It was a lesson that I learned from my jungle fort. If I had them on surface level, the wild cats could get into the pen and eat all my chickens. And in this room is my underground garden. And I have everything here. I have wheat, potatoes, carrots, beets, pumpkins, melons, cocoa beans, and sugarcane. I don't have any sweet berries or um, nether wart here yet. But that's coming in the future. Down here is my nether portal. And because I've done some such extensive nether work in and around my compound, I needed to come out here. That's the other reason I'm here. I wanted to mine copper and I wanted to try to find netherite, both of which I can't get at my compound. So this is my multi-level mine shaft. Just a 
occurred to me I didn't bring any glass with me. But that shouldn't be a problem. And this mine is uh, the area underneath my walled-in compound. And each corner of this mine is one corner of my compound wall. So this is the most recent level. And I have it all mined out. We're going to go mine down there, and that's level 13. So I should find some diamonds. I hope. There's a couple things I need to do. I need to go like this. What the heck? Oh my goodness. I need to put a torch right there. There, right there, and right there. So that should put us in good stead. Here we go. Now, stairs are what I need. Put a staircase right there. I'll have to get rid of that torch. There and there. Yep. That is good. That is good. Now, we mine until we hit the torches. And there they are. So that's the end of this shaft. We'll go down three, torch, torch. And I, I would regularly put glass here, but I don't have any on me. Look at this coal while we're here. Boy, there's a lot of it. Beauty. Fill that back in. We've got to be careful we don't fall into that hole. Okay, now we go this way. This is kind of the main shaft. I'll get this iron while I'm here. So now I think it's every three, yeah, every four. So one, two, three, four, torch, one, two, three, four, torch, and so on and so forth. I have a feeling that this pickaxe is not going to last until we get to the end. Get all this dirt out of here. Wow, that's a lot of dirt. Okay, so one, 
two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Well, there's the, oh, whoops, I didn't mean to do that. I gotta jump up here and fix this. Put a, put a torch there again. Torch there. Right, so that is the end. You can see up at all the mine shaft levels above us. still have a ways to go. This is level four, level 13. I want to take this down to level 4. Let's go down. One, two, three. Torch, torch. Okay, so now I'll take chest and put some of this some of this slag into a chest along with the iron and coal. So now we're going to mine the perimeter. So every three blocks. This is some tough stuff. So here's one corner and you can look all the way up and see the sky above us. So now we go this way. Two, three, four. And my pickaxe just broke. Need to make sure the spacing is correct. There we go. There's a corner right here. So now we go this way again. And I think we can make it all the way around. So that's one half done. I'll mine it later. So that's one, one, two, three. One, two, three.
this way. Hello. Perfect. Let's get these. Fill that back in. Put the torch there. So now that we have diamonds, we're off to the races. But we'll finish the perimeter before we go back up and mend my pickaxe. Drop off the slag. Now let's go around here and mine this perimeter shaft. Take the coal out of here. Jump down here. Anything down here? Some uh, redstone. Got that. There's redstone here. Fill that back in. I'm gonna run out of gonna run out of cobblestone. And we got some here too, some coal. Yeah. 
and I'm going to have to go back to the slag heap in order to fill this in. Yeah. Let's see if I can even get out of here. Have to punch that out. Pretty good. So let's load up on some of this loot. Take all we can up with us. I'll leave. Uh, Take this back. I'll leave the dirt. Granite. Yeah, that's okay for now. So we got 18 diamonds just from that little section. So I don't suppose we have to mine this out right this minute. We can come back to it. So now we have enough diamonds to Prepare our pickaxe and to make an enchanting table. Put the iron in there. Put the coal away. Redstone. Deep slate, tough. And a sight, diorite. Top up on steps and walls. Now let's get some sticks. Make a pickaxe. That sword's okay for now. And I need a book. Do I have any paper on hand? I don't think I do. So let's head down to the garden and get some paper.
Underneath all these slaps, I have water. So that's how everything is staying hydrated. Pretty good. Maybe I should use all of this. Make a bunch. is Nemo. Now I just need some bookshelves. How much leather do I have on me? Not much. Not much at all. Enough for five books. <laughs> oh boy. Well, that's not enough. It's enough for one bookcase. So we need some leather. fancy killing all my cows, but it appears I have no choice. See, I'm a, I'm a big advocate against animal cruelty, so I don't want to pack this pen full of cows. I like to give them some uh, some area to roam. So that's going to be my downfall here. Because I'll only be able to harvest like, I don't know how many pieces. At least with this flaming sword I cook the meat at the same time. How many cows do I have? Okay, I've got like Yes, I do. So he can burn. And I've got two, so I can breed these guys. That gave me five. Not too bad. But I'd like more. Where's my wheat? Stairs, I guess. I don't have any. Let's go down to the farm again. Not that. Not that one. This one. How do I not have any sitting on hand? That's just. That's just dumb. I'm totally unprepared. Need to replant. And I'll feed my chickens while I'm down here. So 
some for you, some for you, some for you, and one for this little guy in the corner. Now, unfortunately, he doesn't have a mate. And I'll give the little guy some. I'll just give them all, give the rest to these little guys here. There we go. I've got some eggs as well, so I can try to hatch a chicken, maybe. There's one, so that's good. Now the trick is getting out of here without chickens following me out. Got my wheat. So let's go feed the cows. One for mama, one for papa. And one for the little baby. Need to come out from under there. I can't I can't give you anything. <laughs> you know, I I don't ever I don't think I've ever seen that before. It's kinda kinda bizarre how he's hiding under there. Let's see if I can get that in a Shot, yeah. It's kind of, kind of funny. Yeah, nothing weird about that. <laughs> oh boy. Well, I can't feed you if you're under your parent. Here we go. Keep this up here. Okay, okay, now what? I'll put the diamonds away in there. I need leather. <coughs> Excuse me. So, so, so. Let's go find some. stuff away for now. Keep, bring the leather with me, but I'll leave all this stuff. There's an island across the way that we'll pay a visit. There should be some cows over there. And I've actually done some exploring on this island. I've mined a lot of sand from here. You can see where I've uh, cut sand out of the landscape. And I've built a few outposts off in this direction because my compass tells me that my compound is that way. So I was trying to kind of build a land bridge to it. And yes, I have explored that desert temple.
Here's a uh, birch forest right there. Now my first outpost is right around here. It's a bit of a glitch going on there. It's taking a minute to load. Yeah, right there. You can see it. So we're going to run 